Now to the latest on the extradition of Joran van der Sloot, the man once considered a prime suspect in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway. He is due to face charges of extorting the family of the teenager from Mountain Brook. Our Josh Gantt spoke with one of the prosecutors on the case who says this has been a long time coming. Josh? Yeah, Steve, Mike well, Winsonette told us a few times he's surprised the Peruvian government agreed to let van der Sloot be extradited back to Alabama. Back in 2010, when Joran van der Sloot was indicted, prosecutors said the FBI worked diligently with Aruban authorities to investigate the case. They say because of those efforts, charges were brought against someone who sought profit in a mother's grief. Winsonette called van der Sloot cold-blooded for trying to take money from Natalie Natalie's mother in exchange for information on where her daughter's remains could be found. He pried on her, uh, her emotions, on her longing to find out something about what happened to her daughter. And uh, I thought that it was despicable what he did. Coming up at 10 o'clock, we've been on the front lines of this story since it broke. We'll hear from former reporters who will tell us what it was like covering a case that gained international attention. That when we see you at 10 o'clock.